Shondaland is a burning box factory. Yes, <laughs> everything Shondaland because um, Shonda doesn't she doesn't she does she casts colorblind. She hires colorblind, right? Um, um, she I don't know if you guys remember, but she was the first she was the first uh, speaker at uh, mm -hmm. First Pitch. She helped kick off First Pitch. So she's she's really really fantastic. She's uh, uh, really supportive of um, all voices. I think. Um, oh, what other? Uh, you know, obviously transparent. Yes, absolutely transparent. Um, Transparent being a really good example right now within the last year or two, mm -hmm. you know, that is a voice that we, I don't know if we've ever heard from before on a TV show. Um, transgender, you know, and it's a strong community with a lot to say. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. have, I mean, you have Shondaland, you have, um, you have shows, well, a show like Transparent. Mm -hmm. You also have, you know, and again, this is more like examples of content than how you feel about whether you're a fan of the show. But fresh off the boat for what it's trying to do, and Dr. Ken on ABC, you Kenya, know, Kenya Barris, uh, Kenya Barris with Blackish, and mm -hmm. Kenya and I go back to Soul Food. I, you know, mm -hmm. um, I remember he was trying to get that show made then, um, and it wasn't right, and obviously now it is. But there, there are many examples now. Mm -hmm.